When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Listen, I need to do this. I'm at the door. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Plan if someone is, you know, here. Moving out or moving in? Nobody's supposed to be here. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? <sighs> hate, hate, hate fire. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory? Pregnancy suits her. She calls. 
chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. What was that? It appears cravings are just a wives' tale. belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay, okay. Fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. Oh, wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? for my dreams, what the hell does it mean? <sighs> Damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. prepare you for is that tossing and turning 
turning and tossing and turning. in the strangest places around the house. me for morning sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus. to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? New text message from Surge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels... different. That... thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. Yeah. 
it. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the sneaking. crap. I've got a stack of JAMA journals up to my chin, and every issue is stuffed with pompous pseudo-intellectual prattle about the dangers of the medical model and the anti-pharmaceutical movement. Do no harm, my ass. One of my colleagues going to get back to what matters, the patient. A commentary on the state of pennies. This dribble serves no one. Text-to-speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese Cuisine. They are utterly ruthless in their lust to destroy, roam and gorge to their heart's content. The laws of nature are inexorable. Life. Does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Why those items?
oxalopapine, along with a hundred milligrams of morphine for pain. Patient is woozy, but not hysterical. We'll maintain dosage tomorrow. Dose two. The amipramine has caused vomiting, and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. What would Dr. Breyer use for a code? Something important to him? into my own hands? That's not alpha male or anything. Delphi next to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. IC 2118. Hmm. I wonder if 2118 would work. Danny, sleep with us.
just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. Cha -ching. What was it again? Delphi, text to speech. Dear Richard Pryor, you must immediately alert any current patients and cease administering therapy or prescriptions as of today. Any attempt to continue practicing will be considered fraud and subject to prosecution in court. Sincerely, Roger Bradley, American Psychiatric Institute. fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before but you can't keep me prisoner in this house in this body I don't want any more pills I don't like where this is going One. Some kind of woman. Somehow, Somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras? chakras. Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow, Somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras?
works best with patients that are, how should I say, more loquacious than others? Frank was never the chattiest patient I'd ever had, but the remote sessions are not quite working for us. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load. It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands <laughs> looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. And the sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul?
Messages. Phone. Messages. Phone. Phone. Messages. Messages. My unknown. Hey Cassie. Evan. Cassie. Michael. Hey there. Unknown. Evan. Char. Brushes. Now this, how does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just, just shatter like that? key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days.
because at some point, we're gonna need to talk about this. I don't understand. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it, I still see it. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. Betty, why am I still seeing it? Hello? Where are you? Hey, Serge. What's Where up? Where are you? Okay. I'm in a weird... I don't know. I guess it was a nursery. There's bubble wrap everywhere. Wait a sec. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit.
whoever you are. I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me. The baby. Gotta move fast. I need a fire extinguisher. with me. When have I ever fucked around with you? Serge, it's actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have a literal fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. Michael, hey there, cat.
patient showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer... Wait a moment. What's that? I, uh, must be hearing things. I... I need more sleep. Hello? What's that? Who's, th who's there? Is something... something burning? Felicia! No, no, this, this is how it ends. Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive. Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it. To stop it. What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand! I shouldn't, I shouldn't be here. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now. mandibles
without the pills. I'm ready to join you now. That there, there's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps, your phonograph. Anything. I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. This doesn't sound good. Shit! The rope, I need to head back there, stat. Hang on, Felicia. I'm coming. is the point of any of this? spry old man handing her this locket. It was inscribed, Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwin, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Who was that? And who was she talking about? 